What's up, everybody? Everybody, <laughs> you're watching this week at Gear Report. This is uh, TJ. The other two icons are who's that? Who's right next to me? Oh, you got I Mitch. Know, I don't know. Mitch don't from know. Gear Report. And then, and then the king himself is at the end. The king. I like that title. <laughs> you said you wanted to rule the world. Hold on. He's Jeff's driving, so he might be a little splotchy here and there, everybody. So, yeah, that's the way it goes. All right, this week I'm gonna take the banner down. I'm, I'm figuring this out, people. Give me, give me, give me some, give me some time here. Of course, I don't see anybody either. Yeah, he usually right. takes a minute or four for people to show up. We can do the, we can do the notification goes out. So, what you got I going just, on, TJ? What's that? What you got going on? Oh, I'm getting ready to go. We're getting ready to go to the old fire uh, expo down here. Nice, nice. So I'm planning. I'm getting getting all ready. Waiting on uh, waiting on Jeff to get here so we can try to load up all the stuff we need to take. So, other than that, I got most you know, important stuff in the van already. That's what he said. He goes, he goes. The van is full. I'm like, well, you know, we got to fit a cooler in there because I'm going. We have room. <laughs> yeah. He's like, we'll make room. That's fine. We'll move some we can, stuff around. We can, throw, we can throw out some clothes and some other things. Technical gear. I need, yeah, the non-essentials. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, need, I need a gear report shirt, a hat, and we're probably going to need some bug spray. Probably. Mm. She's just thinking now. Like, or you can just roll around in the mud. Mud's great for that. That's where the gators live. Yeah, but they have big alligators in the mud <laughs> down there is what I'm told. Yeah, but you got to know how to wrestle. You know how to wrestle, Jeff. Not gators. Yeah, man. That's like that's what TJ does in his off time. He's in Florida, bud. You gotta yeah. learn to wrestle them gators. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm so Good strong. Point. <laughs> so I'm so strong. So, so I check. I I can see. All right. I can't. I can't mess with this. I, I can see that when things pop up in the chat. Yep. But I'm going 75 miles an hour. I can't even begin to think about clicking the button to right. check them. So you guys are going to have to keep an eye on that. I can't. No, I can't even I look at the screen. Up. I just got to talk. <laughs> yeah, Snob not just... Yeah, yeah, I was going to say that he just made a comment. He said, yeah, the show's already better without Jeff. Ouch. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> your, your camera is scary, Jeff. I'm going to throw it out there because you can see, like, everything. Yeah. Like, it... it I'm not going to say it ages I didn't you, but... Bring, oh, man. I was going to bring the extra uh, desktop camera for you to see if it, if it gave you better resolution than I forgot. Nobody, listen, this is this is as much clarity as you want me to be in. Any, any more, and it's, it looks, people are they're, they're just going to click right off. I got nobody, wants to see, nobody wants to see this in clarity. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to agree or disagree. I'll just shake my head. Since you can't see it anyway. I know. I, I don't know what you're doing. I, who knows? I don't want to know. Anyway, do you want to uh, you want to talk about one of these uh, reviews we have uh, published here, Jeffrey? All right. Let's see if this works at all. Whoa. It's there probably not going to work. Yeah. If I you. lean under the light here. Yeah. Oh, there I am. All right. I'm going to turn the camera off. Are you? I don't It seemed like a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, but that was the dim light of the interior light of the, uh, what I used to call the luxury battle wagon. I think we may have to resurrect that name for the conversion van. It looked like a, um, it, it, look, it looked like a scary little view you had there with the lighting. Yeah, that's what I'm going the, uh, the, uh, A better water kit for the Philmont water needs. It is a better water kit. Um, I don't always agree with everything that, that our camping writers write, or any writer for that matter. And, uh, and I've had people ask me, you know, I've I had people say, well, you know, I don't want to commit to writing something because I know you have different views on it. I'm like, no, I, I want different views. You know, I, if, it's, if you're just paired and think stuff I would write, I can write it. You know, come, come in with something different. And in this case, I agree almost word for word 
with everything Andy says. If you watch, he's got a video in there, and, uh, and he's got some text, uh, written articles you can read, and they say roughly the same thing, and that is, there is an old standby for backpacking for carrying your water, and that is the Nalgene bottles. And Nalgene bottles are like bomb-proof, thick, heavy plastic. They weigh, you know, six and a half ounces each. And, uh, you know, all the cool kids now have switched to things like smart water bottles, which it's, it's what it sounds like. Smart water, smart water, smart water is the stuff you get at Walmart or a convenience store. And if it's not saying use smart water for backpacking, because it's just water with, I don't even know what they put in it to call it smart water. The bottles, though, are light. They need the one liter size, so it, and they fit in the side pouch of a backpack really well. Uh, and they're very durable. So that just happens to be the brand the backpackers have, have latched on to. Uh, so Andy says to use a smart water bottle uh, with a, uh, maybe with a hydration tube hooked to it, and then maybe carry a water bladder for the rest of your water. You're going to need more than one liter when you're back. Actually. I right. personally think the approach, I carry three smart water bottles and then a small bladder, and they both fit on the side pouches of the backpack, so nothing goes in the backpack. I carry a small bladder. Uh, either bottle way you bottle. do it. Either, either way you do it. It has nothing to do with the baby squirrel bladder that's built into my body. That, you know, <laughs> speaking of which, I've got to pee again. I mean, keep driving so I can get to the house. Hopefully before I wet myself. His jet's bottle is full that he's driving with. Yeah, I wasn't going to mention that on the actual oh, black okay. portion of the show. That, that was pre-show banter. We all do it. Uh, but anyhow... And Andy did a good job that article. You should go check it out if you do backpacking. And the last item on his list, I can't remember what it was called. It was a brand of uh, like a small one or two liter water bladder that I'd not heard of before that I happened to stumble on like two days before he uh, sent this article over for, for, uh, for to be published. Actually, you know what? He didn't even send it over to be published. He published it a day that I was working on tents at their house, and I didn't huh. even see it till like a day and a half later. I was like, oh, wow, someone published something. Like, I forgot he had the ability to do that, because not many people can publish without an editor checking off on it. And apparently, I gave Andy the power to do that. So, well, there you go. That. There we go. Well, yeah. that's good, because we got something published this week, right? Yeah, well, you said three things, right? And there yeah, are gonna, there are at least two or three in the queue. More. There are at least two or three in the queue that as soon as I have a few minutes to edit them, uh, I can edit and publish those. So Clover Tech has got a firearms review in the queue, and, and Rogue has got one or two gun-related items in the queue. That's for, that's for uh, up-and-coming reviews, Jeff. That's the next segment. Sorry. Yeah, keep me in line, dude. I wander. I'm trying to ramble. Straight and narrow. Look, hands, Jeff. Straight and narrow. All right, what about yeah. the... Uh, the I, can't, Ula, I told Ola, you I can't look at the screen. I'm driving. Yeah. Ula Ohm 2.0 backpack review. What about that? That one's kind of neat. So ULA equipment. ULA. Um, ULA is the company. I can't remember what it stands for. You can just leave a comment. Or go read the article. And in the article... It may actually say, or it may not, what the ULA stands for. Ultralight Adventure, oh, right. stuff like that. I think it's Ultralight Adventure Equipment, ULA Equipment. Right. Four or five years, um, so. Yeah, yeah. If you read it, uh, Joe uh, Rickless wrote this one, and he really liked it. He said it's a go-to for lighter loads now. I don't remember what the weight capacity on this one is. When you get into ultralight backpacks, uh, they're usually comfortable up to about 30, 35 pounds, and they get really uncomfortable. So you got to really right. commit as a backpacker to going light and so not carrying any extra stuff with you. Because I know a lot of people who just, you know, their, pound, their pack weighs 60, 70 pounds. That ain't going to work in, in an ultralight pack. The suspension right. yeah, is a 30-pound load capacity. 
And I'm telling you, if you can get down to that pack weight, it's hard, especially in, in the colder months where you're carrying more insulation. But in the summer, if you can get down to that kind of pack weight, um, it makes packing so much easier because you're carrying a whole lot less weight. And apparently, this is a pretty comfortable pack. I've never carried one, uh, but there are uh, this uh, ULA has developed a pretty good following, and uh, the Ohm pack was popular. The Ohm 2.0 pack is popular with a lot of people who do through hikes on like Appalachian Trail or the Pacific Crest Trail. So the long, long multi-month trails where people are hiking several thousand miles. Um, that sounds like fun, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I love walking. Yeah, so uh, walking every day for months on end. It, it sounds like a blast to me. Um, but uh, yeah, this, this pack has developed a pretty good following with those types. So um, I, I need to get my hands on one at some point and see what they're all about. But uh, according to Joe, it's pretty cool. But don't trust me. Go read his review and see what he said for yourself. We will. We will do that. We will do uh, that. Defense Dad is out there. Yeah, I, I just saw that. Yep. What's up? Gunstop, of course, is out there. I don't know if he left us or not. <laughs> I, uh, I imagine that Gunstop failed. That he left his smart-ass comment and was like, well, "Seriously, <laughs> if Jeff's not even going to be on camera, then I'm going to bolt." Right. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah, I expect. Can't, can't, yeah, I can't stand his rag on you the whole time. It was, it was probably the highlight of his night. He's like, oh, just not there? Damn it. Yeah. Um, all right, what do we got? The uh, the last one is the Loco Libra Ridge Reaper, Re Ridge Reaper you, uh, review. Looks like a... Yeah, what's you cute me? Yeah. Under quilt. Dude, you've done your homework. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah, so... Um, so it's a, it, 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 again, I know nothing about it from personal experience, but from what Joe wrote, um, I'm thinking like that one and said good things about it. I'm trying to remember from editing that article what he said about it. Um, I think generally, you know, um, he was able to make it fit on a bridge hammock, which is more rectangular, your typical gather den hammock that most people use as camping hammocks. Um, a, an under quilt that is designed for those can be a challenge to make it fit on a bridge hammock. And, right. and he uses, uh, I'm trying to remember, I think it's a, a Banyan bridge hammock. Or, I, I, don't, I don't want to say the wrong thing. I know he's got a review on it. Um, yeah, uh, on a, uh, for, for, it's for a bridge hammock. Yeah. So he was using the uh, yeah, so, for a so Banyan that's, bridge hammock. Bam! Check that out. Speaking of Dutchware, um, I, I saw some stuff on Instagram where the gaming people from Gear Report has been hanging with the Dutchware crew. They have an, an old ambulance that they use kind of like a motorhome. And he's been touring somewhere in Florida, I think, with them. I was hoping he'd show up and tell us about it. I don't know, maybe he's in a dip somewhere. I saw someone in the dip earlier as I crossed the Georgia Florida line. And uh, I wonder if that was him. I probably should have stopped. You should have. Where are they? They were. But, were, was, they were, was, but they, they went were fishing. North, they never stopped in. Bastards. Yeah. Yeah, bastard. That's true. Uh, but anyhow, so you can go read about if you're into hammock camping and you like good insulation that's lightweight and adaptable to various different types of styles of camping. Mechanics, then maybe that local Libre, I can't remember what it was, Bridge Reaper, is that what they called it? Yep. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe just maybe, might be a fit for you. But uh, I'd definitely go read what Joe wrote about it and see if it looks like it's going to fit your needs. It would, yeah, it would, it would be just one more thing to for me to fall out of the hammock with. Yeah. No, that that wasn't meant for, for that. that. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah. Yeah, I was I wasn't meant for hammock lane. I'm, I, put me on the ground. I'm I'm fine. Yeah, or a cot. I like the cot idea. Yeah, yeah. Like so you yeah, like that? Like I said earlier, I've got the I've got the the old military hospital cot 
in the van for you, but I was sure to bring one that has the IV pole so we can, if we can figure out like a bourbon drip or something, we can on, get that set up for you. Hang it right up above the bed. Yep. I'll do that and I'll set my, I'll set my cigar on it. Sweet. Yeah, no, right. you won't. That won't work. I know. I know. All right. Now we are on reviews that will be published soon. There you go, Jeff. Now, what do you what do, what do you got coming out of the queue? Yeah, so uh, Clover has some sort of firearm review. I just don't remember. I saw it, but I didn't even open it. Like, yeah, no time. Got to start driving. Um, and let's see, Rogue has at least one, maybe two in there that's going to be firearms related. And Jose Juan still has one that I've been ignoring for a month and a half because it's super long and it's got a lot of editing and I just haven't had time to get to it. That's a, like a complete, it's an overview article for an AR-15 build. So um, it links out to, to all the different parts that were in the build. So most of those are already published. You can give me about the, the, I think it's the carbon fiber ultralight AR-15. Right. You can read about most of the components in that um, already published. It's just that overview that I haven't finished editing yet. I'm trying to think. I thought there was another one. I've got a few in the queue. I think I've got a ton of them in the queue. I, I have like 186 partially written draft articles or some, something like that. It's probably more by now. Um, but at some point, you know, I'll get motivated and finish when I publish it. And, and, and yeah, the number goes down. And then I have an idea and I start another one and it doesn't get finished. Yeah, once you once you start, quit messing with that for a little while. Yeah, well, but I need to do more with it because I publish very little hunting content because I've been too busy with um, the tents. So that's something that I'm going to work on after the event. So we'll talk about the Fire Expo event in a little more detail here in a bit, if that's okay with you. Yes, that is okay with me. <laughs> the little voice just told me in two miles, take the exit. Oh, you're getting awesome. there. You're getting Almost to 404. Yep. He's getting there. So, um, anyhow, the. Um, that's my train of thought. After the event, I have a bunch of tent videos where for each for each of the military base X tents that I have that I'll post for sale, as we set them up, once we got all the repairs, we inspected them and we did the repairs and we got them set up. Then I'd walk through with the camera and do a quick video to show, here's the condition. So yeah. I've got a bunch of those that I need to figure out how to get posted. Unfortunately, I had an issue um, with, uh, with the wireless microphone, the Konica wireless mic set that I've been, uh, that was sent for review. I'm having a heck of a time getting good audio out of it. So um, I may have to post some without any audio, just like for people to see the tent, uh, but, but not actually um, hear me talking about it just because audio is garbage we can we can just so i got a bunch of those to put up we can just dub somebody's voice over it <laughs> yeah yeah we can do that uh maybe mitch will be available we can get him to talk about it what we have here is the illustrious 303 <laughs> Every, everybody will just freak out like what what's going on what am i watching? <laughs> yep yep yeah do it david attenborough style yeah so right so let's see. I'll have that. I think if the, if the internet's strong enough, I want to do some live videos from the Fire Expo this weekend. Um, that should be good. We're going uh, I don't think we'll do any video from my friend Steve's. Uh, he he does a lot of uh, like real intense special forces type, you know, fully armored and uh, uh, Humvees. And, and he's an FFL and SOT as well. So, I mean, he'll, he'll kit him out with machine guns and everything. Um, I don't think he's going to want us to take video at his show because the type of stuff he does. So, I think we probably won't get any video there. But I'm going to pick up a Humvee for him before we go to the event tomorrow. 
like probably tomorrow evening. Uh, hey, so Jeff, Andy's bringing who it is. Uh, Yeah. It's Jose Juan. Welcome, Jose What's Juan. What's going on, gentlemen? I'm there here. Is. Oh, hey, man. I was having computer opening issues and uh, trying to find the different links for the different weeks and stuff. And uh, yes, but I'm here. Yeah. All right. We're waiting we're, we're, on no, Jeff to finish talking about the tents. Yes. Uh, yeah. Talk about tents. Um, it, it's, it's been a couple of interesting weeks uh, setting up all of those things up on the warehouse and uh, uh, checking all of the different parts and things that might be. Would you, might would you characterize? What's that? Would you characterize this project as intense? Yes. Or would you describe it as intense? All right, Jeff, you're breaking up. What was that yep. again? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. What can we do? Yeah. Watch this. Yeah. Boom. Guys, no, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm there's, now. now, what started to look like it was going to be a for Jeff and I to, for me to help Jeff every weekend and be able to maybe do about four tents each day. So it, the project was going to drag pretty much a full month of us going through each one of the tents, you know, doing four a day. So starting, you know, half a day Friday, then Saturday, Sunday, we were, we were looking at probably about a full month of doing this. And uh, uh, because of uh, the first batch sale that Jeff did uh, included a little bit of uh, help from uh, from the guy that bought them, um, I, I am crazy happy to think that we've gone through every single one of the tents. Um, we have not broken down completely and packed up about eight of them, but the rest, uh, but we've already gone through all of them. So um, knowing that we've already stood them up and broken them down to where two people can, can collapse them easy, oh, it's it's awesome. Um, and and seriously, the late the latter tents that we set up are in the better shape of them all. So anybody that is interested in looking for some military uh, base X tents, yes, uh, these ones are a, a pretty nice deal uh, because of how good of a shape they are. Yeah, maybe maybe some of these uh. Homeless camps will pick them up. We just shelter everybody. Yeah, just shelter everybody. Yeah, shelter everybody. <laughs> yeah, they, they they really are a crazy nice tents for for just about any purpose. Whether you're gonna make it a storage on the out in the country on your backyard or wherever, uh, they will provide ample space. And uh, the ones that that the canvas is in good shape they will last a long time um yep. and it'll it'll it really will be a good shelter so yeah i'm excited i get this i get the i get the camping one at... you get the camping, yeah yeah <laughs> you'll be surprised i mean this, this, those tents are sweet fire expo so that's, yeah. that's what we're, we're, we're camping in so i'll get i'll get we'll do a review on it i'll say okay this thing is awesome or it, it's a tent. Uh, yeah, you won't. Let's just for starters, you are not going to have problems getting in and out of it at all. Okay. I hope not, because you know, I mean, we're tall guys, so I have to duck. Yeah, co considering that that I am on the vertically challenged portion, or or maybe not so much. You guys have the vertically challenge of having to squat down a lot of the times. Um, you will not. You will not uh, suffer that this time around. It's gonna be good. good. That's that's usually a deal breaker. Yeah. No. This, oh, dude. Yes. I'm old. Yeah. I can't be leaned over all the time like that. Right. So, yeah. So I'm just I'm just scrolling through some of the people that are gonna be there for for the fire expo. Yeah, it looks like there's a whole bunch of really nice brands in the end. There, I mean, uh, there's a bunch of them. There was a lot more than um, a lot more than we first started when we were first coming down, or when Jeff was first yeah. coming down. Now there's a ton. It's a big, yeah. big sponsor, Shaw. 
Show barrels. Yeah, so it's uh Yeah. Yeah. Friday. Yeah, I, I hope they're I hope they're able to keep up with the, with all the brands. You yeah. should be able to. I mean, there's what uh, 20, 30 brands or brands Listen, or something like that, maybe a little bit more. How many, how many people do we talk to at Shot Show? Yeah, the and, struggle and with the, the, the competition. It's like twenty. There's like thirty, forty. Yeah, and and on that, you you can be a little bit more selective at Shot Show wherever you plan your stuff. But on these smaller events, uh, kind of like going to. Um, IV eighty eight um, suits every year. Um, well, this is more, but this is a. Uh, there's going to be the public's going to be there as well. So anyway, right. anybody so can go to the that's the only thing that you're going to have to contend with. But uh, for the most part, you'll be able to talk to just about every single brand that is there. Uh, eventually, I mean, I, I've been to a couple with um, Adam over at NFA, and uh, yeah. his his public and, and media is there, and you just you know you there's still a lot of waiting in line to you know just take your turn, and then eventually once you get up there, you can chat with them, and it's yeah. Line up, line up something later, later in the day when it slows down. True. Yeah, hopefully, we have to with, uh, with some of the brands to go to, you know, go to dinner or get a, a somewhat in the evening to to go interact a little bit more. Dinner, is dinner, could be whatever Jeff's probably. cooking up that camp stove. Yeah. Primary arms, nice. Yeah. Full day are we talk to them at shot? Oh, uh, we yeah. gotta we gotta choose ourselves some dinners. What's that? You, you, Jeff, you have to up some uh, some after after event uh, parties, Jeff. That's your job. Yeah, how's how's the drive going, Jeff? I I'm like three minutes from the house. <laughs> when you hear when you hear a bunch of dogs barking, I'm almost there. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can hear me or not? Yeah, we can hear you. That's that's Jeff coming in the front door when the dogs start barking. That's my alarm. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah, Man. I mean, I, I'm excited. It's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a really good event. I mean, it's. it's I'm happy that we're having an event and we get to go and do some stuff. You know, talk to brands, see what's coming on. You know, just spread the word everything we can do yeah. you know yeah it's just a completely weird year than without having shot show or anything you know that you know hopefully the oh, brands yeah. are going to be willing to to talk to you guys a little bit more and uh hook up with uh you know doing a little bit more of a hands-on uh, product review and and which which is what has been missing for a while uh from some of the other shows they end up being so big and they spend so much money that that they do ration a lot of, of uh, how much interaction they have with uh, um, you know, with, with review um, outfitters like us. So hopefully yeah. that's going to that's going to help out this this week. And, um, you know, you guys be able to hook up with some some products to look something that's so. that I mean, that, that's always the goal. Um yeah you know like i said it's it uh we'll, we'll see what's going on i mean i'm just like i said i'm just happy that these guys are they're gonna host an event and, you know luckily florida's free you know we can we can do pretty much almost all we want i mean we still got you know yeah. go up to individual stores and stuff like that whether you're you wear a mask and all that but there's no masks there's you know yeah if you want to stay away from people stay away from people if not eh, whatever give them hugs yeah yeah that's pretty good so we've been we've been fortunate down here. So I, I, heard, I heard that uh, Trump was on his way to Florida. Is he going to be there? You guys should interview him. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be awesome <laughs> if he stopped by. He just there, just yeah. hanging out, going. I just wanted I, to see you. This I heard this place was huge. Yep. Yeah, yeah, like, you have more if I come see your report. That's what it was. <laughs> gonna be there? Oh, I'm going to meet that guy. You would have uh, more of a chance of seeing Junior over there, not uh, Trump himself in the end. But but yes. Never, never say never. It's Florida. We're we're we're, we're no, friendly people down here. No, he was right, going to the yard. Me. You're in the yeah. yard. Oh, you're waiting, waiting for the dogs to. I'm in the yard. Right. <laughs> yeah. Wait, waiting for the dogs. Uh huh. You can hear the crocs swishing. Oh, find some place I can pee. 
Chris, Chris is going to try to throw the dogs outside. Oh, yeah. no, I'm being in your front yard right now. Well, then she's going to throw them out the backyard. <laughs> this is awesome. This is the best podcast ever. <laughs> yeah. I, so, should mute, um, I should mute Jeff, but I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, yeah, we've been, so, I mean, so, we've been, uh, that's what, I, now I've got my I new, I've picked got up new your Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi because you guys aren't breaking up now. Right. Well, yeah, my Wi-Fi, we got good Wi-Fi. But uh, yeah, my, my new, my new everyday routine now is I go to the, uh, there's a, there's a Space Coast Bullets that do uh, reloads. And uh, they yeah. manufacture their own ammo. So I've been going down there every day at like 10 and they they usually have some ammo and they're not they're not sticking it to people they're you know like like okay. 16 so you've been able to buy some stuff do you hold uh, out your do you hold out your tin cup and you you say do you have some ammo sir oh, ammo yes exactly uh, please yeah. <laughs> there's a dog like in the door. <laughs> he's, he's gonna come over and invade your space I think I think Crystal locked the front door so he couldn't get in. You're in the backyard, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep. So yeah. uh, I don't know where's Jeff. He's still is he still peeing? No, kind of wait. It sounded like he was opening a door. So I told him to come in the front door. Yeah, because he's dumb enough to let the dogs out, then he's chasing them. <laughs> oh, if he lets the dog out, that's yeah. like a win-win for me. Well, he knows he has to chase her since he's done it before. <laughs> What are you doing, Teddy Bear? Oh, goodness. <laughs> Just tell him to run and, and let the dogs chase him. Yeah. So oh, he must have just got he must have just got out of the truck. Or he went back yeah, in the truck. Doing. Yeah. You can hear the crocs squishing as he walks. Yeah. Maybe he's at your neighbor's house and and, and uh, couldn't remember how to get there and we're going to hear the commotion when he opens the front door. There's only, there's, there's only one. That, I've got the tactical trike out there. He can, he, you know, oh, to, yeah. You can't miss the tactical trike. Oh, see, he's here. Yeah, here's the dog. There's the dogs. I'm going to mute up for a second. Let them, let them simmer down now. You guys, you guys chat amongst yourselves. Yeah. Hey, Mitch, what kind of cool stuff have you been getting into lately? Um, I'd like to say a lot, but I haven't been receiving anything new. Um, I've actually been going back to school, so I'm okay. It's been some time uh, since I've been doing that, but um, I don't know. I'm just trying to get um, some ideas for something new, something that we're not doing, or, or looking at some avenues that we're not taking that might be good to add to Gear Report. Okay, cool. Yeah. Are you just uh, upping your certifications or stuff like that for some of the your your private entity life uh, endeavors, or or just something to look at? No, um, I'm actually um, doing um, cybersecurity. So a okay, lot of cool. I'll, yeah, I'll be doing something directed at my do it. my yeah. uh, immediate That's future. Hopefully, I'm muted up so I can't yeah. say it. Hey, so look, look who shows up. Brother's got a hug, bro. Yeah, we got a hug. Where's the other chair? You need to put TJ over there on the on the background. <laughs> on mute, TJ. There you go. I guess going, Jeff? Shut this off on my phone. There we go. I'm going to do leave. I can figure out how to shut this off. Uh, no, he uh, he went to the bar. He went to the. He needed to lube up a little bit more. I I don't even know what you just said, but he he ran into the bar, so he'll be back in a second. Yeah. Well, good. So you made it. All made safe. It. it looks like at least. Yeah, okay. What was that? Any Humvee updates or gear? Who was that? Comments. Oh. I don't see a name on that one. It was Any Dash Dash. Gear. So the Humvee updates are that uh, I've just been driving it. I haven't had time to do hardly any work on it. 
I put a couple uh, little uh, little updates on the daily updates page, but not much of anything um, because I've been too busy with other stuff um, like working on tents and all that jazz. But uh, but tomorrow um, we should see uh, Andy Dobson from Jacksonville has got a really really awesome uh, GMV Humvee that's all decked out with swing arms and mini guns and a turret uh, with a cupola and full radios and all kind of cool stuff. Uh, he's coming down to that fire expo event with us. And then uh, also TJ and I are going to go visit my friend Steve over in Fort Myers and pick up another Humvee from him to take the event. So we're going to roll into this event with two Humvees, two, two, somewhat decked out uh i don't know how how decked out steve's is going to be um uh, but but that and then andy's plus the military tent and uh we're going to try to make a splash there there we go i'll turn it a little bit there we go look at that there we go a taller than you know. yep. yeah well sweet yeah well, but that's uh, that that's what's happening with the humvee stuff and gear yeah we already talked about that stuff so that's what we were talking about. This comment. I forgot that I was sitting at the con the, the control console here. You you're, yep. you're in charge now. Remember, it's Florida, so when you ride up, it's suns out, guns out. Yeah. I thought yeah. you meant you were going to make me a drink. You just made yourself a drink. I don't know what you want. Are <laughs> you you drink again? Uh, really? No, it's okay. I'll do it. Hey guys, I got to run. At, at yeah. least the boat didn't sink in the end, but. I got to go pick up the kid tonight, okay? Okay. See you. Thank you. We'll be good. See you at the range later on. Be good. Later, Jose. Have fun. I don't want to be good. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, that works. I'm good. No, I didn't know what you wanted. Yeah, it's all right. Last time I missed you, Draco, it didn't go well. That's true. Yep. All right. So, honestly, anything else, Mitch, you want to talk about, or we kind of wrapped it up for now? I think we're good. It's been kind of a slow week. There's a lot of bit, a lot of going going on. You guys are getting geared up for the fire expo. Going to get some good content. So just jazzed about that to hear about what you guys are doing. Yeah, so I'm excited that it'll be the first time since we got these ridiculously large tents that we actually use one for gear report. That was that was the whole impetus for getting them to begin with was so we could go to events like this and and roll in with the the big military tent just to make a splash and and look cool. So I'm really excited at uh, how that's going to play out and and having a couple of cool Humvees there is going to be awesome. And Andy is going to be there with us. Uh, he's a pretty cool guy. So I'm pretty excited about all that. Well, if the um, tents work, you need to that? make sure. I said if the tent idea is a splash, it works out. You got to do the gear report logo on the tent. That's what you got to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the banner is going to come with us. And nice. I've got some decals. We may actually stick one of the decals on the wall of the tent. Because oh, you can stick those on random things. As oh, yeah. Around. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be good. We do in Florida. So anyhow, yeah, pretty excited. Pretty pumped up. So any, uh, I think that's about it, though. I think so. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and shut this one down. Uh, world record. This is one of the shortest ones we've done. This is whatever. This is our original goal: thirty minutes. <laughs> right. It was. Yeah. See, when, I'm, when I'm happens. in charge, it happened. Yep. Well, it didn't help. We only had like three. So. Right. Yep. <laughs> I'm slacking on that part. That's part, partly my fault too. Yeah. Yeah. I've been too I've busy. With, too busy with tents to uh, edit a lot of stuff. Anyhow. Until next time, we'll see you at the.